Your genome provides information about every biomolecule that is produced in your body. As such, it is a linchpin in guiding healthcare that is tailored to you in this incoming era of precision medicine. I'm Carlos Araya, the CEO of Jungla, where our mission is to accelerate the insights that we all stand to gain from understanding our genomes. We do this simply because whether we're considering a mastectomy, a defibrillator implant, or a targeted anti-cancer therapy, we rely on our genomes at many of the most critical moments of our lives. And although there have been remarkable advances in technology, some of the fastest in the history of mankind, these technologies that have brought personal genomes to the clinic, we find ourselves today in the middle of a plague of uncertainty because sequencing is not understanding. And the reality is that we know very little. In fact, today, we know the effects of only 0.1% of the possible variants in disease-associated genes. And yet, this limited knowledge drives what is a $6 billion genetic testing industry. And although we can acquire sequence information very quickly now and cheaply, the reality is that the knowledge that we rely on here grows painfully slowly. For example, in the last six months, we've uncovered only the effects of a minuscule fraction of the variants in BRCA1, one of the genes in which we seek actively for these associations. So rather than waiting, at Jungla, we believe that there is a better approach, which is to lens the knowledge that we have today to shed light across this landscape. That is, to couple genomics, biophysics, and machine learning to understand and predict the effects of variants. To do this, we first need to recognize that variants affect molecular functions and not just sequences. And while it's easy to obtain sequence information today and to associate those individual variants with genes and proteins, what we really seek to understand is how each variant impacts a specific molecular function, such as ligand binding in this example. So what we really need to enable is a new understanding of the genome. At Joongla, we've developed methods that allow us to measure functional relationships between different parts of the genome. And with these, we can then take the knowledge that we have today and pinpoint how disease-associated mutations are affected, affecting specific functional modules, such that when we see new variants in the clinic that affect these modules, we can infer these are likely pathogenic. We marry these proprietary insights with machine learning into software that enhances existing genetic tests. Our products are gene and disease-specific interpretation engines that provide doctors and patients with accurate, comprehensive diagnostics that are supported by robust performance metrics. We've shown our software... Oh, sorry. We've shown our software increases the performance of even the best genetic tests in the market. It does so by increasing the ability to identify patients who are at risk of disease without mischaracterizing patients who are not at risk, as is shown here for BRCA1. But this is not a one-trick pony. In fact, we've shown that this approach improves the interpretation in 94% of the genes that we've tested, yielding, most commonly, a 28% improvement in the accuracy of each test. This opens up large market opportunities because these analytic solutions can be added to existing tests without the requirement for FDA approval. And therefore, they can be used to enhance the accuracy of, more, of the, uh, the, the 60,000 genetic tests that are in the market today. Over the last months, we generated solutions for 15 of the highest volume genetic tests in the market, including eight genes that are recommended for universal screening and in which we can therefore expect over 100 million patients will be analyzed over the next 10 years. We know today that some of these genes generate revenues of roughly $600 million for individual providers. But with sequencing becoming a commodity and patients walking into the clinic with their genomes already sequenced, we believe that the value in genetic testing is increasingly in the interpretation. So our tiered go-to-market and revenue strategy begins by leveraging our multiple patents to deliver our insights as a service, to then improve existing genetic tests, and to then integrate clinical data to generate new tests, such that we become a global distributor of genomic insights.
And although I cannot disclose names, we're today working on partnerships in each one of these phases, including with one of the largest sequencing companies, one of the leading genetic test providers, and one of the largest heart hospitals in the United States. In our business model, we begin by leveraging public data to generate gene and disease-specific interpretation engines that we then distribute to existing genetic test providers and collect revenue on through volume-based licensing following a software-as-a-service model. But in addition, Joomla partners with hospitals to generate new companion diagnostic tests that accompany drug prescriptions. And although these types of tests do require FDA approval, they can each be worth as much as $100 million pre-market, which then well justifies the uh, um, investment in the clinical trials where the clinical data is strong. So we view these really as partnerships. And Joomla partners with these hospitals, incentivizing them to provide data by giving them a new revenue stream through royalties. And this is important to the mission of Joomla, because whereas most genomic... This might be running low on battery. Um, whereas most genomic software companies today are focused on collecting sequencing data and aggregating existing knowledge, Joomla is... Joomla is among the few companies that are generating new knowledge for distribution across the industry. Our competitors are companies that are either using low-throughput versions of technologies that we've invented or are companies that we've done due diligence for. In either case, we understand well their practical and technical limitations. We're a team of Stanford scientists with over 15 years of experience in genomics and biophysics. Our work has been published in nearly all top-tier journals and featured in the New York Times. We're supported by leading experts in, in molecular sciences and genomics, including Doug Fowler and Mike Snyder from Stanford University, and are part of the leading biotech accelerators. Our goals are to complete our multiple validation pilots and reach first revenue within our first year. <clears throat> to then focus on capturing 15% of the total addressable market for a specific genetic test by 2018, and to be ready to initiate a first clinical trial shortly thereafter for a companion diagnostic. To reach these goals, we're raising a $2 million seed, so contact us to bring accuracy and new capabilities to the genetic test that we all rely on. Thank you. Thank you.